Hey everyone, welcome back. It is field trip time and I've received a few questions on the fishing channel concerning my office. I know that I give y'all bits and pieces as far as like filming in here and uh, being that we got those few questions, uh, what better way than to produce a video vlog style than showing y'all the office. I've done this before over on the fishing channel. However, I've got like close to 800 videos that I pump out over there and it can get lost in the sauce. So for those of you that asked and you're uh, now subscribed to this channel, welcome to a behind the scenes look in the office for MDLR fishing. And uh, let's grab the camera and quickly go over, show you all what it is that I have in here and uh, like just some of the, the small things that never get talked about over on the fishing channel. So let's get started. Let's start things off over here in this corner with my eight rod holder. Uh, it's a DIY project that I built and uh, I currently have nothing but bait casters on this side. We do have, let's uh, grab the camera, get a closer look. We currently have seven setups on the bait caster waiting to purchase uh, a couple of more lues once they get back in stock. That right there is a Chinese bait casting reel from Pissafun 300 series bait caster. Uh, that it will be replaced with the Luz once I get that in. And everything else is pretty much Luz and Shimano. Um, the rods are all Old 18 Outfitters because we're sponsored by Old 18. But here goes the rod itself, the, the holder. Um, as you can see, it's very elementary style, nothing special. Super easy to make and I'm wishing that I would have done something by way of like 10 put two extra rod holders on there um, we may build another one later on i don't know but uh, we kind of ran out of space as y'all see we got these all these rods right over here that are all bait casters as well and uh, i just don't have enough space for the bait casters we roll on over to this side and this these are all the spinning rods still eight of them with shimano and lose down there i think we got two loose spinning reels but the remainder of them are shimano and we're currently waiting for old 18 to produce a like a legit jetty rod right now i'm using just an inshore on this workhorse right there which is a shimano vanford right here and that's also a vanford but a saint croix rod so we've got like a mix and match of old 18 outfitter rods we just need something a little bit more stout to take out there to the jetties. But uh, there you go right there with the homemade DIY. And uh, that's right there, all the rods that we carry and use mainly on the channel. Um, I do have some that are out in the hallway, but those are whenever, like I didn't do this as a job. Uh, right over here, the editing center. We've got a MacBook Pro, very expensive machine, but you do need the right tools for the job. Let's set this down. So this MacBook, uh, it's got a crazy insane hard drive in it and the processor is something that you're only going to find on like customized purchases. So you basically tell the company what you want and then they start building it up because it's not going to be something that's kept in the stores where you can go and purchase a MacBook. Maybe at an Apple store you might get lucky and find one of these, but they basically piece it together. And the only reason why we need this is because the other MacBook that we purchased, which was a pretty penny as well, um, it, it was perfect for five years ago. But now, uh, as file sizes get bigger, um, because the resolution on cameras are recording at such high frame rates and you're going 4K and beyond, those file sizes are massive and you need the processing power to get that done. Uh, I also have a lot of y'all asking me over on the fishing channel, um, what program do I use to edit? Uh, I have purchased Final Cut Pro 
a while back and uh, it's like an extension of iMovie which comes free on like your basic style Mac and uh, that's what we're using to edit. Christian, my son, uh, is the editor right now and what he does is produce a video for me. I watch the final cut on it and then take out or put in or change around some of the scenes and clips, maybe B-roll, um, just to tell the story of what it is that we're doing out there. And then we've got an LG monitor. I think this one's like a, I wanna say it's a 40 inch, 32 to 40 inches, I'm not sure. But it, it's perfect because it allows me to see what this Mac right here, um, it, it's a big screen. This is like a 16 inch screen and it's perfect for on the road, but whenever we're here at home, I can just put a lot more. I can see the workflow, I can see all my clips, but then I also have uh, just about the same size of my screen right there to view the playback. So this is definitely essential to getting the job done a lot faster. And then we've got some Bose speakers. These are very old. I purchased these when I was in the military and I had them in a box in the attic, so pulled it down whenever I saw them. I'm like, that would be perfect for the editing station. And this is where, for the most part, where all the magic happens that doesn't actually happen out there on the water. Um, we can get the work done in peace and quiet, with exception to some of y'all, if you have a keen ear, <laughs> little Oreo down there, she uh, is always at my feet, always wherever I go, she's going and she snores a lot. She's a very old dog, like 14 plus years. And uh, you know, that's the only noise that you're gonna find in the background. Otherwise it's really quiet in here. And uh, the, my process is fairly simple. All the cameras come here whenever we're done for the day. We pull out all the SD cards and there goes one right there but we throw them inside these little baggies um, these are actually wrappers from the bugs fishing lures and then i got an index card to keep track of what day we're filming on and if we're stacked up with footage then these cards will just stay somewhere up here all the additional cards go inside here so to be a YouTuber, you're gonna have to buy an insane amount of SD cards, or you'll have to invest in these right here, your external hard drives to store your footage on. I don't entirely trust on like trust these that much. There's a lot of horror stories. They do work, but then it's that one time that they don't work and you lose like precious footage that has not been edited. And I don't want to go through that. So I opt for the more expensive route, which is purchasing an insane amount of SD cards. And it works. So I don't have to worry about transferring files and them getting corrupted, being transferred from the SD card through the computer to the external hard drive, something that I don't want to get into. But that all happens over here. We've got uh, all the cameras, the big camera because it's heavy, and we got a big old huge Pelican case right there. That just sets up here on this extra desk that we put in here and uh, threw a little gray blanket on there to cut down on the glare. So if we want to work on a project, what I'll do is move this away from the window and we use the natural lighting because that's what works best for trying to film vlog style stuff. Uh, we can turn the light off. The lens is such a spectacular lens that we can uh, get away with using no light. Just for an example, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So there goes the light off. The lens will take a little while to adjust, but the quality is still there because it's a spectacular lens. But that's what we use the table for. We'll set the tripod up in, in between the table and the window to get the natural daylight lighting because that's what always works the best rather than artificial light from overhead or camera lights and stuff like that. So that's what we do with this table. Christian stores some of his cameras and stuff like that. And sometimes he works off of this with my old machine that I updated. Um, let's continue on. Right here is our calendar. 
Uh, we're getting ready to start a new month, so we've got June ready to go, and we just write down all of our information. The days that we go fishing, what the weather conditions were like, um, what we caught on the water, what style of fishing did we do, and so all of that gets taken care of right there. Here, these are all my old fishing reels that are riding the bench because we basically just don't use them anymore. And a uh, pretty good assortment of reels that I think it just adds a little bit of character into the office. So we've got that right there. Move further down, we've got a little bit more workspace. High speed internet, that's ridiculously expensive and I think that cable companies just charge way too much for high speed internet but you gotta have it if you're a content creator we have the two companies that sponsor the channel so we've got bugs fishing right here all of their lures are on the glory board and then we have catchco so these are the branded catchco branded lures that i absolutely love to use because they actually work out there on the water I don't use any of the other things because I don't know how it is that I can apply them towards catching redfish, speckled trout, or flounder. So the only things that make it up here on the glory board is what actually works for me. And these are the things that I do want to promote. Uh, I don't try to BS anybody on the fishing channel. My audience is like the average age is from I want to say it was 25 the last time that I looked to 45 years old and you all have been around the block there's no need to BS you saying oh this is the best thing since sliced bread you need this lure because it's gonna help you No, I'm just gonna show you what I'm using that will catch fish and I'm not gonna pitch something that I've never used before but I'm trying to force it to make it work these lures they're tried, they're tested. The hooks, they're what I actually use because they work and they help your plastics to stay and work a little bit longer. And uh, these are the things that I use. So the glory board, just know that if it's up there, it's because it actually works and um, it helps me to catch fish. Then we come over here towards this side. I don't even really want to concentrate. That's where the magic, like, intellectual style magic that's where i write my notes down on what it is that i want to do spots uh so if i'm drawing a blank and I, I don't know where to go i'll take a look at the whiteboard and it's got a bunch of spots on it that tells me try this spot during these winds or go to this spot for a kayak go to that spot for skiff so on and so forth just to try to kind of help me keep on track then i've also got like a couple of content creator style things where it gives me tips that i have learned just through um, taking creator courses online and stuff like that on how to like well i'm getting into the weeds anyhow if you're a content creator you can drop your comments down below and ask more in-depth questions or if you're a patron and you want to learn a little bit more well then you have my ears because of the special support that y'all give to me so that's basically what the whiteboard is for i thought it'd be cool to bring in the shadow box that right there is from afghanistan whenever i deployed over there on my first tour uh, in combat theater and that right there is a flag that was flown on a combat mission so we've got that a little bit of decorations on this wall i thought it would be funny in keeping with the fishing so we got the fish the shrimp the mermaid and the uh, crane or i guess you would consider that the crane we would consider it uh, an egret or a heron or something like that we got the flag to, uh, I don't know what I purchased that for, but I mean, it just looks cool in here to take up space. And then I've got some artwork from my little guy, Elijah, drew that when he was in, I think it was kindergarten, and I thought I would frame it. I've kept it for so long, um, and it's been framed up, and now it's hanging in here. So then we come over here, we've got 
Um, well, this right here just basically houses our waders, my dry suit for extreme cold water fishing. Some of the hats, like the swag that we get from everywhere. And then I've got my Marine Corps flag. I'm actually trying to get the creases out of my Marine Corps flag. And eventually once I put a flag pole outside, um, we will start flying that along with my retirement flag. And uh, on this side, we've got the, like all my jackets that I wear, rain jacket, other jackets, and then the hats that I actually wear on a daily when we go out there fishing. Uh, we come over here to this side and it's just basically nothing but storage. Down there, we've, I made a go at trying to sell some merch and that just failed miserably. Everybody asked for merch over on my fishing channel and then as soon as I got it and I started offering the shirts, I made the big mistake. So I'm not gonna blame on everybody like why they're not purchasing merchandise or anything like that. I made the mistake in going too cartoonish. I'm, I, I, I love comedy. I love getting a good laugh and chuckle from t-shirts and stuff like that, very crude style humor. So that's what I kind of did, minus the crude humor. But um, those are the remnants of the shirts that I purchased and tried to make a good go at selling stuff, such as t-shirts, maybe some stickers, vinyls, and stuff like that. It just, it, it failed miserably. So now we've got a paperweight right there that is a very expensive heat press. Um, I'm not saying that we won't like reinvest more money in new designs to uh, sell some better shirts, but we're gonna now just stay away from the cartoonish stuff and actually do legit redfish, speckled trout, maybe a jack, um, flounder and stuff like that. Just put together some merch that the average person would want to wear. So we've got that down there. Some of my wife's old classroom stuff from school when she was a teacher. And then we've got all this stuff over here. And it's just a lot of camera equipment that you accumulate being a YouTuber. Some of these things you're like, oh, I need that. It's gonna help me to film. And then you buy it and then never use it again. Yeah, all that stuff ends up over here. We got a little ball head right there. That's a tripod mount. Some light diffusers right there for the GoPros. And uh, just a lot of nothingness. Old GoPros and stuff like that, they all come in here. Old batteries are in here as well. We go through an absurd amount of GoPro batteries. Like the summers here in Texas, they kill batteries prematurely. And I wanna say, the average time that I get out of them is maybe seven months if I'm lucky. But uh, what happens is they get super hot and they overheat and then they start to swell. So we've got batteries in there. Once we figure out where we can recycle them um, responsibly, then we will get rid of those. Lots of wires. A lot of people tell me, why don't you just use a power bank to film with so you don't have to do battery changes? Well, guess what? I did do that in the past and uh, it worked there for a while, but as soon as I left freshwater fishing in New York and I came home for saltwater stuff, it failed miserably. Um, wires all over the kayak just does not work because look at, look at the wires that go along with doing that. And these guys, I did a little bit of wire control by bundling them up and uh, it, it, it does not work. There's too much clutter on the boat, on the kayak actually, and that just does not work. So we don't do that no more. Um, what is in here? Wow, lures. Didn't even know these are in here. Bass fishing lures. So we got that and then a little bit of stuff down here for uh, like maintenance, uh, fishing reels. We got some decals, the hand fishing rod handle. So just a lot of nothingness. Um, down there I got some yard markers so when I want to see my casting distance or do a casting distance video which I've made a very few of them um, we got those there I got a measure wheel inside that little black bag right there and then 
we go to the desk space. All of my old calendars are right here. And let's see, what else do we got? A lot of gear. Lures that have been used hang up right here. So if we ever want to use them again, I just take a look at it and then we'll pull one off as we see fit. But we rarely ever go to any of this stuff. It's just now a part of decoration. Down here are packages of lures that we receive but we don't use. And eventually I start boxing stuff up like that right there. And one of these days I'll take it out there on the water and just leave it there in a spot where I know there's high traffic and people can just take the whole box if they want it and uh, hopefully it'll get used later on but you know we've got some catch coast stuff here as well and it's just things that i know that they have given me but i personally know that i'm not going to use we got a bunch of ram mounts for the kayak or the skiff or whatever it is that i'm going to be doing fish finder mounts for the uh the kayaks and skiffs um just a lot of things more of these right here you got the bull shad and then i thought i had a bullgill but i don't but yeah we got just a lot of lures that we no longer use because of uh, tackle deals that we have or just because i just won't use them uh, lots of spoons for the jetties i will always use these guys and then ever so often we'll go to some of the down south stuff and then just a bunch of terminal tackle we go up here now and that's my sling pack that y'all see me take to the jetties that just hangs out there we got a surplus of uh, skelly swims here we have freshwater tackle trays right there behind them uh, a little bit of swag from old town and uh, i got some other swag right now from another company that we're trying to work a deal with so uh, you can see the bills of the hats right up in here and as soon as that that thing uh, that deal gets ironed out i will be happy to let y'all know what's going on with that and then we got our um just more stuff this is the giveaway fishing reel and the giveaway lure box right there that uh, we're doing once christian's channel my son hits uh, a thousand subscribers we're going to do that giveaway and it will fish with one of you lucky viewers out there uh, right here is our Yeti. That is to make sure we have water. And uh, we use that during like the months of July, August, September, the very hot months. You need an, uh, just like an absurd amount of water. Right now we use the other smaller Yetis and those are in the kitchen. We've got some of the stuff for catch and cooks and then the blackened seasoning because that's all we're mainly going to do out there is just blacken our fish. And then all the tackle trays that have saltwater lures, some freshwater stuff. I kind of organize everything that says saltwater weight fishing box right there. So if I'm going to go weight fishing in the saltwater, I will take this box. But recently I haven't really been taking it because we have been using live shrimp. That right there is freshwater pond hopping box. So on and so forth. We got different boxes for different items and then this all up here is just nothing but storage i've got all the boxes so that if we do a giveaway i have the box that goes with the real uh, camera equipment camera lenses um, the macbook box and then our waiting boxes and then up here a good buddy uh, david dura works for 6b labels and they create all of our stickers that we have to uh, to give away the MDLR circle ones that y'all see with me with at the fishing show. So all of that stuff is up there. A nice uh, painting that one of the viewers did right there for the channel. And I do think that's it. Collection of all the shoes that we wear. It's pretty basic, pretty simple stuff. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the office in a nutshell. I do spend an absurd amount of time in here. One thing that I forgot to show y'all, let's do that really fast because we kind of skipped over this right here. These are 
the Kayak trolling motor batteries. I also use them whenever we had the skiff, which by the way, we sold our skiff and uh, we're currently trying to get a new one right now, but um, that will run the trolling motor. This right here is our fish finder battery. We have our drone inside that dry bag. And then the remainder of our charging station is over here for GoPro batteries, the big Sony camera, the Hero 9 camera, Christian's battery box, um, all the battery chargers right there because it would take forever to just be able to charge two batteries at a time. We need the ability to charge sometimes nine and ten batteries all at once so that we don't spend an absurd amount of time in here. Uh, we've got uh, some just just a bunch of junk honestly here's our off like not offshore i mean yeah offshore if we were to ever ever make it that far but that's our two-way radio a lot of people have asked about that that's the standard horizon hx 870 it's a phenomenal radio and uh, i'm in constant uh, or not in constant contact but i'm able to keep contact with the coast guard should a situation arise that radio is phenomenal it's waterproof it will sink it does not float so at least i don't think it floats actually it might float i don't know click the link down below there should be something that will take you to amazon to where you can view it and uh that's if they have it i think they got the hx 890 now that replaced that one it's supposed to be even better but anyhow i digress that is it. That's the office. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it kind of went on long, but um, just showing y'all where it is that I spend the bulk of my time when I'm not out there on the water. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you did. And uh, thank you for being a subscriber or viewer to this channel. No need to subscribe. I love the support just by y'all viewing, so I really appreciate it. Thank you for consistently supporting this channel as well as the fishing one and that will do it for now i will see y'all next time when we're off the water